in my city read african history read of benin city b-e-n-i-n-c-i-t-y up to 21 years ago they used human beings for sacrifice human beings for sacrifice when god raised me he said the government will not stop it but you i said who I said, my grandparents are involved. He said, you will start from there. You start from your house. I said, they will kill me. He said, not when you are in me. For your life is hidden Christ. And Christ is hidden God. So anybody who wants to kill you has to kill God first. Then kill Christ before killing you. (laughs) Can you say hallelujah? Those of you who are looking for vocabularies, you are looking for vocabularies. You will not find it tonight, but you find life. Amen. Amen. The kingdom of God is not in grammar. Yes. It's in power. power. Say power. power. Say power. power. It's time for the kingdom people to wake up. And demon leaders will come and say, Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah? The Bible did not say run from the devil, he shall run from you. From you. He said resist the devil and he will flee from you. Yeah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So I said to God, do you say I can cast that devil? He said yes. Do you say that that is my job? He said yes. I said fine. I went to, I went to the roundabout of my city. I fasted seven days and the Lord told me to go around the roundabout. I don't know what you call roundabout here, but in English we call it roundabout. <laughs> huh? Intersec- intersection. The center of your city. Downtown. You know downtown? In Africa it's now uptown. He said, go around that downtown, the heart of the city, 14 times. The last night, the 14th day, declared that the city is now taken over by God. And I knew it is risky not to take risk. (laughs) He said, how are you going to do it? I said, by the Holy Ghost. Everyone say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. First night, second night, the third night, about 2 a.m. when I was walking around, it starts at 12 midnight, ending 6 a.m. every day. Just walking, speaking in tongues, walking, speaking in tongues, walking, speaking in tongues. At 3 a.m. the third day, heavy fear came on me. I was shivering, my head was swollen, and devil said, this is the last night you will march. And I remember, there is power in the name of Jesus. I took my Bible, I bust in tongue, I said, God, you didn't tell me you are going to kill me at the runabout. You told me to march around that the wall will fall down. And the spirit began to leave. At 6 a.m. I was able to take my bicycle, go home, and give thanks. And I said, no more. (laughs) Quarter to five. Fifteen minutes before five. God said, tonight, you have one hour more. You are going back tonight at, you are going back 12 midnight today. I summed up courage. I took my bicycle. Before I got to the roundabout, there were several sacrifices of goat and dog cut into pieces with my name written on the plates. For the first time, my bishop, I heard, fear not. Everybody say, fear not. Fear not. Now, if you are told that your name is used, 
That's good. But for you to see your name used, that's horrible. I looked at this plate, my name. I looked at this plate, my name. And I realized the Bible says the devil is under our feet. So I marched on them and spoke in tongue and spoke in tongue and spoke in tongue. The fourth day, the fifth day, this day, the seventh day, I announced Benin City, Benda State, Nigeria is free. Hallelujah. Now what did you do? That's all I did. The head of the witchcraft in the town died. The third week, the chief of our court in the town died. In nine days, there were over 30 dead of the men that were in charge of the power of darkness in my town. Today, 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 when you say Benson Idahosa, <laughs> that's a terrifying name. Everybody say terrifying. terrifying. The thing that you to frighten the people will not frighten them. The kingdom is a power of substitution. A power of replacement. That is why we are in Atlanta. When we get back home, we will be able to announce from Sunday the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our God and of His Christ. 